Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to your Pisces full moon reading. Um, and this full moon is going to be happening on September 20th around 5.54 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So depending on where you're at in the world, that's going to be when it's going to be at its fullest. Um, and I love that this one's called the Autumn Moon because whatever moon is closest to the Autumn Equinox, that one gets to have the title um, and wins the title of Autumn Moon. And since the Autumn Equinox happens on September 22nd, this one obviously is a couple days away. So that is why it's the Autumn Moon. Um, it's a little tidbit of fun information there. Um, and I love that we're coming into this Pisces full moon having following two consecutive months in Aquarius um, with Aquarius full moons, um, you know, two in a row. And those bring in this energy of hopes and dreams um, of building community, assisting uh, the whole collective in its evolution towards unconditional love. Now that can also put us into this sort of a stagnant dream state where we're daydreaming off in the future about this is what we want and we may not take action toward it. But what's beautiful is this Pisces full moon brings in a perfect balance between the dreaminess and the dreaming um, and looking into the future, but also taking practical steps towards our goals. And it's also, of course, with it being Pisces, it's a time of deep emotions. You know, full moon alone has deep emotions. And so definitely when you bring in Pisces into it, you do have <clears throat> a very um, expanded, explosive, emotional type energy. That also means the veil um, will be um, extra thin between the physical world and with our spiritual um, companions, our spiritual posse on the other side. So if we are unsure of the next steps we want to take, you know, those practical steps, or we need advice, spirit is waiting for, um, you know, to give us the answers, to answer our questions, give us guidance and all that. Um, also, uh, next month we'll be having a full moon in Aries. So Aries brings in a lot of, you know, drive and ambition and inspiration. So we'll have a lot of extra energy to funnel into our progress on those practical steps. But also keeping in mind that Pisces, that's the end of the zodiac, you know, kind of cycle. And we're starting a new one. So that can also bring in some possible revisions um, and you know, we alter our course a bit. So um, something to keep in mind as we're going forward. <clears throat> now, the last new moon in Pisces was back on March 13th of, tw um, of this year. So, you know, when you look at the new moon, full moon cycles, it's about six months apart ish, give or take a couple weeks, a few weeks. And <clears throat> so beyond the monthly phase, kind of moon phases. We have this large <clears throat> six month moon phase that happens. And so whatever was planted um, and kind of started at the new moon in Pisces, this is like this full moon is the climax of that stuff. And then we start to, um, you know, kind of wane back um, to the new moon, uh, the next moon in Pisces, which will be done, you know, further down six months ish from now. So back then, if you look back around March 13th, you might see that you were encouraged to kind of take this leap of faith, have this courage to share a dream, or you were harnessing, you know, extra creativity. There's this huge energy around it about um, like taking this movement forward or forward movement. And so now, is the time to revisit the plans we had back then, our dreams, whatever it was, and see what alterations we now want to make, what changes we want to make to those plans. You know, what are we ready to let go of that no longer, you know, is needed, no longer serves um, our, you know, possibly altered dream, especially as we move into Air, um, the Aries full moon. So for this reading, what we're going to ask is what does spirit want us to know about next steps? And so we're going to go ahead and jump in for your reading right now. 
All right, my Aries, this is your reading for the Pisces full moon. And we're asking, of course, what does spirit want you to know about next steps? So why not ask the bird messages? Um, this is the deck of bird messages. And so these are the winged messengers that, and we'll see. Okay, we'll see what the creator wants you to know, what spirit wants you to know about next steps. What advice, what information, just... What will help as you decide what you're going to be doing next with all that practical plans towards your dreams? All right, Creator Spirit, what do you want our Aries to know? What messenger? I guess your message got lost in the mail. No, <laughs> there we go. Just jokes, just jokes. Why are you so serious, Aries? <laughs> and you got the macaw, which is this beautiful parrot. Um, and think literally to solve a problem. <laughs> Not figuratively, think literally. <clears throat> and let's see what message comes with the macaw here. Okay. Yeah, so Macaw lives in the tropical heat of the Amazonia, dining on the rich seeds found in the uh, Fecund Forest, F-E-C-U-N-D. Her hard hooked bill is a masterpiece of engineering designed to crack even the hardest shell. Knowing this, some seeds protect themselves from Macaw by covering themselves with repulsive indigestible toxins. Other birds leave this potential bounty alone, but Macaw is cleverer than they and thinks laterally to solve her problem. Having dined lavishly, Macaw flies to steep banks of terracotta clay and consumes by the beakful this mineral-rich natural medicine, which also safely absorbs the seed's uh, virulent stomach ache producing defense. Wow. Smart birds. If Macaw has arrived squawking in your cards, it's time to reconsider the seemingly insoluble. She counsels that your problem may be overcome by abandoning preconceptions and thinking outside convention. So be like the Macaw and take a sideways leap. I love that. So yeah, definitely. So the message that's coming um, for you about your plans, your practical plans um, is um, think outside the box. Um, don't, you know, think that it has to go this way. You might have to take a sidestep, um, but you'll go places that others won't because you're smart. <laughs> so I love that, you know, you're able to see, um, a course, um, where everyone just might turn around and walk away from it. But beyond that, it's totally worth it for you to go to that direction. Again, you'll go into places that other people um, fear to tread in a way. Right. And then we're going to pull some um, cards here from the fairy tarot and just see what else spirit wants you to know about this full moon about these messages, messages about your next steps. And we're going to um, pull like three cards um, because the full moon can infect you like the week before a full moon, um, you'll start to get that uh, influence. And then the week after, of course, you're still swimming and all those. And then even up to two weeks after, as you get ready to go into the next new moon. So um, we're going to pull like three different um, stacks here, or, or three different cards. <laughs> That's exactly what came out of here. And um, so that'll represent the week before, the week after, and the second week after. And then we'll get clar more clarification as well. So the week before, you've got the king of autumn. And the autumn is actually the pentacles. Um, and, oops, sorry, a little glare there. So this is about, um, it can be an individual because um, they're compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, gifted. And then you can see on the bottom here, be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way, a good person or a company to work for. 
and you can see that here. So the King of Pentacles is at the end of the Pentacles, which means he's mastered the understanding of how to have abundance in your life. And the Pentacles or the Autumn is really about the external, right? Um, but the King also understands what is important to let fall away and what not to invest energy in. Um, so he knows how to invest um, in that totally goes wonderful with this macaw card here because it's like you know if it wasn't worth it like for this bird to go eat that clay to be able to eat if there was plenty of other stuff to eat and there was no competition in anything else they'd be like why am i gonna go eat clay i don't need to do all that but if it's uh, the food is competitive and they're like you know what no one's eating that and i can have all that that i want I just have to go do this and then it opens up all these doors and that is this you know awareness that comes with this king of autumn they also learn an important lesson because they're of course at the end of the suit they went through all those experiences from the ace all the way through up to the king and they understand that whatever you focus on is what grows whatever you're grateful for is what grows as well so if you focus on lack that is what grows in your life but if you have gratitude for what you do have um, it even more so expands more quickly gratitude and thanksgiving for things um, is it's of course the love energy the light energy and so that expands very quickly where shadow energy it, it does grow it just doesn't grow as um brilliantly um as light does right and so a wonderful message here focus on what you're grateful for and as you make your plans you know really look um at where you're focusing your energy um, and trust you know trust this mind um trust those ideas that come to you especially um you know if you're not sure and you're asking spirit to give you answers let them come pay attention and listen and you'll identify this the week before um the full moon um and so you're able to plant uh, you know you're able to um, really see things um clearer and clearer as you come upon the actual full moon um, which will happen like right here between because then you go into the the week after and you've got the ten of a spring and spring is the one so ten of wands um, ask for help from others all work and no play being weighed down by too many responsibilities so this is like a message saying you know what um, <laughs> I love about this one was talking about playing in there too right um, it's important not to get consumed you know this is your spiritual energy but it's your you know your drive your ambition and um, usually they'll have like someone holding ten swords and like you have so much on your plate so much you're trying to do um, but it's important that you um, take time you know um, and don't uh, try to do everything at once um, especially keep in mind like I mentioned in the intro that as you're coming into the next full moon which is Aries you're gonna have all this you're gonna have all this energy flooding in to help you you know get things done but you're also because you're ending with Pisces full moon and going into the next cycle of Aries to Pisces you might alter plans so um, this is like a cautionary tale of don't try to do too much all at once because there's some things that you're going to be letting go um, and this is also um, like right after the full moon um, climaxes and reaches its fullness as you're um, waning away from the full moon it's a time of looking at what you're ready to let go of so you only have so much that you can do only so much water in the pitcher to fill cups so choose the important cups that are important right now not urgent but are important right now to pour your energy into because otherwise you'll exhaust yourself and then going into the second week after the full moon you've got the prince of spring and so the prince of spring is like the knight of um of uh, wands so you have you know again this is about action and activity so you are still moving forward and doing things you know you're definitely 
using all that fire energy i mean you are fire element and the spring um the wands you know suit is the fire element so you are in your element and even when you feel like you're you know so let's talk about charming self-confident passionate restless even if you feel like i'm not really moving fast you're moving fast in comparison to everyone else you're just used to you know ludicrous speed um, compared to others so this is about immediate actions a challenge you can successfully mallet and manage passionate relationship but i really feel like yeah this direction that you're heading that you want to make all these plans for um you are making progress in here again you're focusing on the important um in this immediate action isn't about things that are urgent you're focusing in on what's important and taking those steps so really you're understanding what directions you want to make and the the route you want to go you're putting uh, like you're deciding where you're going to put your action in and then you're putting action into it we're also going to pull some cards here um, from the everyday tarot and we're just going to get some clarification on each of these um, as well Let's see what else creator would like you to know Okay, tell us about these decisions that are being made in these different ways of getting to where you want to go there. Okay. Okay, so it's these two here. <laughs> so you got the not only the king of pentacles, you have the queen of pentacles. And she is very much the mother nature, mother nurture, um, you know, growth, birth. Um, and this she also brings a wonderful um you know creativity and she kind of is like the empress um in the major arcana so she understands her worth she's been through it like the king she's almost all the way through the suit and she understands that when you're deciding on the external things that you're wanting that understanding where your your self-worth truly comes from is inside the outside stuff is just all extra it's all beautiful um, and again she's very much about gratitude and thankfulness um, and um, has this ease you know like mother nature goes with the flow um, and um, you go through the you know the different cycles she doesn't worry about if it's winter or spring summer or autumn whatever season she just takes it for whatever season it is because she understands that you know um, every season has its purpose fall happens you know uh, autumn happens when things are falling away um, and they fall to the ground and then um, they you know dissolve and go into the ground and over the winter the snow comes and the moisture and everything pushes that down and dissolves it to where it becomes fertilizer for spring um, and as the you know snow melts and as it gets warmer out depending on where you're out in the world sometimes you don't get snow but you get the idea <laughs> then it's ripe for planting of seeds and then um, summer comes and that's when every the fruitfulness and everything comes so there's always this process and trusting that um, everything happens in a certain way and you can't rush it but you definitely come back to understanding that um, you find your worth from inside not from the outside and then you're not worried about what season it is because you know you have everything you need always right inside you and you're grateful for it yeah and here goes six of wands so definitely recognition um, and support community um, so you're being seen for who you are and um, there's like this dual message because I, I love that wands is of spirit as well and you know we're kind of drawn to the outside of like okay these people are supporting me and they're you know um, like it, when it talks about our worth here with the queen we might look outside of ourselves and try to be those people pleasers right and that's so unstable like seasons people's emotions and opinions change on a daily if not hourly basis so when we're basing our worth on their opinions and their thoughts what happens we're unstable we fall off the horse because they turn from support into a riot and then they're suddenly not in a good mood and they think of us differently whereas when you look at from a spiritual side and you look at from the inside you're getting all this support from 
all of your guardian angels and angels and spirit guides and you know spirit they're supporting your your journey they're supporting you on your way and there's this message that comes um, right now through this that you realize that your abundance um, doesn't come from humans and from the outside world everything that you need comes from the creator and of course the creator's resources and supply is endless and unlimited um, everyone else is just the third party that the creator sends it through to you know to us so when you change that and understand that it kind of helps you clarify what you want and how you want to get it um, you, when you remove those fears then you can open up that creativity of this queen of pentacles and understand okay this is how i want to go about doing it i mean who would think to go eat some clay that helps with the toxins so you can eat that and it doesn't upset you at all right that's the kind of um, energy we feel all right and then deciding here what's important not urgent and deciding where you're going to pour that energy into what cups what else do you want to, um our aries to know creator about that here okay. like that one there any others it's just this one yeah so three of swords swords is about your mindsets your thoughts your beliefs your attitudes your expectations because i call this the expectation card because this is what um, expectations equal disappointment it makes it like it breaks our heart when things don't unfold the way we think they should but this is a beautiful thing because it's um, the message that's coming here is as you're determining what um, cups you want to pour things in do the unex don't just follow the popular shoulds um, the popular you know opinion of how you should go about things or the popular opinion on how you should feel about things you know this is all about being um, you know connecting to your genius inside of you connecting to that wonderful imagination you know of the queen of pentacles here and you know allow yourself to think outside of those expectations because when you do what you always did you get what you always got and if everyone's doing this then you're just going to get in line and i'm um, like you know if the birds if ever, all the birds are going to a certain tree and eating that certain fruit there's only so much but when you um, go a different way and do the unexpected following your heart and your gut and of course connecting to spirit you know and, and listening to those messages looking for the synchronicities then you know but this is definitely going yeah don't look at the old ways of doing things don't think well these are the normally important things so let me focus on that really take the time to understand what's important to you to your dream let that be your compass what is your dream and are you willing to sacrifice whatever is needed for that dream and sometimes that sacrifices this change of thought this change of old beliefs this change of the way you used to always do things right and then we'll look at here the second week here when you're doing all the action you're like boom 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 what else would you like them to know about this swift action here <laughs> yeah don't work yourself to death no, i'm just kidding this is all about yeah you're totally um death and rebirth you're ending things um and you're um focusing on new things so you know like we talked about um you, you're having this you know and this makes sense because you are aries and the next full moon is in aries you're kind of getting this um because the um, new moon comes up um and then you know full moon comes um you know about about 30 days later right so it's like you're getting this as you're going through this you're getting this inside track from spirit because they're like yeah you you know what's going to happen in this aries full moon you get the special vip pass and so you're already knowing um what you want to end and what you want to begin you have this beautiful attachment and connection to the full moon in aries the next um the next month and um you are um already 
knowing what you're, you know, I think here is really you're knowing what you're going to let go of and what you're going to, um, to make room for what you're going to birth. And so you're like, that's when you're putting all this into action is you're seeing, foreseeing, going, yeah, I know this was my dream before, but I already know I want to alter it and I'm going to do this and I'm making these changes and you're already, you know, um, and cause it's funny, you have the, you know, the queen of pentacles, you have the rabbit here and then you're actually riding that rabbit here. So, you know, the rabbit of course is about very, uh, abundance, you know, they like, um, mate like rabbits. They just, um, and then they also are very fast um, and able to escape things, you know, um, get away from those things, those dangerous things. Um, and I really feel this is what you're doing, um, during this third week here. So I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then, since we're talking to messengers, um, we're also going to pull a guardian angel card here and see what your guardian angel wants you to know about this full moon period, what you can do with this energy. Okay, I feel like this is the one here. And I always just like to show this too, because you're never alone. You know, when you're talking about messengers, you are never alone. You are surrounded by a large host of beings of unconditional love and light. You've got the creator, the spirit, guardian angels and angels, and you got spirit guides. You have loved ones who've been with you on this plane during this life, and they're already back home. Um, you got ancestors, just an endless, endless um, group, huge group of individuals, always giving you love and support. Um, all you have to do is ask. They don't mess with your free will, but all you have to do is ask of your own free will and they will answer you and bring you things. Because here you have inner child. And it says, nurture your inner child and begin to express the awesome beauty you hold within you. Which makes sense to the Queen of Pentacles I mentioned is Mother Nature, Mother Nurture. So it is definitely about taking care of you. And this is about nurturing your inner child. We live in a world where a formula exists for everything, right? These expectations. Yet love and creativity have no formula. They do not need to be studied, simply nurtured. Regularly set aside some time to just play. So yeah, we are definitely talking about that before. Make sure you're not so serious and play and nurture your creativity. You know, we were talking about this too. The Queen of Pentacles is about creativity. It's about nurturing. So don't think you have to study um, your creativity. Just play, um, focus in on that beautiful energy of joy. Um, and that just um, takes away all this pain and fear. What if I don't succeed? What if I don't do what everyone thinks I'm supposed to? Well, enjoy that. You know, enjoy being creative and free. People, um, even if they criticize you, they secretly are so impressed when people go against the grain and do things in new ways, as long as it doesn't hurt people. I mean, you know, if you're wanting to become a dictator <laughs> and put everyone into slavery, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about creative ways um, to create beautiful new things, right? And then lastly, we're going to pull a card here just from the Whispering Woods. It just felt very woodsy and, and very in nature with the fairy and the birds. Um, so this will be your final message from the Creator and from Spirit. What else would you like them to know finally about this full moon in Pisces? Okay. <laughs> there you go. You got growth. The tallest oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. <laughs> so definitely, I'm going, to put, I'm going to put this right here because this is what we were talking about. Don't be afraid to start something new and um, definitely um, it takes time, like we talked about here with the, the pentacles and the autumn. You know, it takes time for seasons to happen. Allow things to unfold, but do what you want to do. Um, you know, focus on the important, not all the urgent stuff, right? So I am loving this energy for you for your full moon coming up here, Aries. 
So just know as you go throughout this three week period of the week before the full moon up to the two weeks after that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. You're not alone. And um, just know that I love you too. Have an amazing phase of the moon here and we'll talk to you very soon, I'm sure. <laughs> you take care now.